Today we're going to use the Bluetooth app to program this 11,000 BT Bluetooth model tap timer. So you don't have to have this particular model. You can have the 9,000, 7,000, 6,000 or our home and garden um, multi-station units that are run by Bluetooth as well. But the first step is going to be install the battery. Make sure we have power. And then slide the battery back in and slide the battery box back in. Now we have the screen and we have all the buttons. If you would like to see how to program this manually on the unit, please see the video that I've attached here, hopefully right about this area. We'll set that down. Now you'll see there's a QR code right here and then a QR code right here on the box. This one will give you a video as to how to use the app. This will get you to the app. So we're gonna pick up our phone and we're gonna open our little QR scanner and we're gonna mouse right over here. And this gives us the app page. And we wanna open that in a browser iPhones are going to be a little bit different than this Android, but this is what the Android is what I have. So we have a Galcon Bluetooth app, so you can download it in the App Store or get it on Google Play. I'm going to get it on Google Play. We're going to go ahead and install. And it'll take just a second. And by mute movie magic, you will see it load real quick. Now once to this screen, we're going to go ahead and hit the open button. Allow it to understand what's going on. It sees my 11,000 that we just put the battery in. So we're going to tap irrigation pairing code will appear on the screen. So we're going to go 10. 1,000 was the code that it had up there. We're going to go OK. And now we have, there we go. Takes it a second for it to sync. Now we're ready to go. Now what you'll notice is the time on my phone and the time on and date have already synced up. So that's good to go. Let's go to programs. We want our duration to be 20 minutes. So we're just gonna scroll up. To 20 minutes confirm and we're going to do 20 minutes on Tuesday and Friday and we want to start time number one at 8 a.m. whoop 8 a.m. straight up and then you can change the minutes if you'd like and then we're going to click on start time number two and we're going to do that for seven PM. So go up here, hit the little PM button. Okay. So we have a Tuesday, Friday runs for 20 minutes. Start time number one. So it'll start Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Then Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. Same thing on Friday. Before we navigate away from the screen, make sure we save and sync. It's updating. Timer is updated. Okay. That's great. Now, if we need to run the tap manually from the Bluetooth app. We can just go up here and we can just scroll up. Let's say we're gonna run it for 25 minutes. Confirm. And now we're ready to start. Takes just a second. You hear the click, the valve is open. Now the timer will run down. If you don't need it to run that long, you can always just press stop. Status of the valve. Today is the next irrigation at 7 p.m. this evening. Everything's running well. There are no current active programs that are running. But if it rains this afternoon, we may have to touch the three little dots and come up here and tap our rain off. 
So if it rains really well, let's say we're going to do a rain off for three days and confirm that and send it. Now it's updating and you can see the rain off has updated on the unit itself. And we can always cancel the rain off if things are starting to dry up. Thanks for watching.